Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, how do I apply for relief under Florida's Romeo and Juliet law? In order to qualify for removal from Florida's sex offender registry under Romeo and Juliet, you've got to meet all of the following criteria. One, you must have been convicted of a qualified sex offense and be required to register as a sex offender. Two, at the time of the offense, the victim must have been between the ages of 14 and 17 years old. Three, at the time of the offense, you must have been no more than four years older than the victim. Four, the victim must have been a willing participant in the sexual activity. Five, you cannot have had any previous sex crimes on your record. And six, your removal from the registry cannot contradict any federal law. So long as you meet all of those criteria, then you have the ability to petition the court for an order eliminating the requirement that you must register as a sex offender in the state of Florida. The process begins with you filing a petition with the sentencing court and noticing the state attorney's office. If the state stipulates, then an agreed order removing your registration requirement will be submitted. But if the state objects, then an evidentiary hearing will be calendared, during which time the state may present evidence in opposition to your petition. If the court ultimately determines that you're eligible, then removal of the registration requirement will be ordered. From there, it's your responsibility to provide a certified copy of the order to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, and FDLE is then required to remove you from the sex offender registry. It's important to note a few things about this. One, granting and entering a Romeo and Juliet order does not vacate your conviction. This means you're still a convicted felon. You just don't have to register as a sex offender. Two, either side can appeal. So if the order is granted, the state can seek appellate review, and if it's denied, you can do the same. And finally, three, you only get one bite at the Romeo and Juliet apple. So if your petition is denied while you have the right to file an appeal, you will be prohibited from filing a second petition. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel, We'll be putting out more soon.